There's a load of space games at Gamescom this year, and some of them have been out for quite a while, but many of them are brand new and yet to be released. There's also one or two very questionable titles which I'll be speaking about in this video, so do stick around for that. But the vast majority of these games, uh, well, they do have great potential. So let's jump straight in and have a look. So obviously, Shattered Space, the Starfield, is coming out very soon. This is the first major expansion for the game. It's set to be released on the 30th of September, both for PC as well as Xbox. Now, the uh, expansion introduces a new story and gameplay features, as then it's generally a horror-themed narrative, at least so uh, Bethesda say, that diverges from the base game's focus. So that focus is on, uh, in the expansion here, is on House Veyrun, or Veyrun. Uh, the expansion centers around this house, a mysterious theocracy in their settled systems that worships the Great Serpent, and it's a faction that is considered a dangerous cult within the game's lore. Now, there's also a new location here called Dazra, and players can explore this area, the capital city on House Faerun's uh, hidden homeworld. The storyline itself involves investigating a cosmic threat and uncovering the secrets of the Great Serpent worshippers. Now, as for those horror elements, uh, overall, it seems that the expansion is going to be imbued with horror themes, and these feature a uh, well, phenomenon that has caused chaos and unleashed creatures from a vortex. This introduces a more spine-chilling atmosphere compared to the base game. Now, uh, how this actually plays out, whether it's actually going to be a psychological horror, which I absolutely doubt, uh, more likely just going to be a monstrous creatures that are going around and causing all sorts of problems. So. Uh, horror in its visual aesthetic rather in its narrative, but you know, we'll have to see. There's uh, certainly room for potential here. As for gameplay features, exploration and combat, as per the regular Starfield game, are going to, of course, maintain uh, a part of the focus here. And apparently, there's going to be some new challenges here which involve uh, gravity anomalies, something which I guess is kind of a part of um, the base game already when you try and gather those new power ups. At any rate, this update is scheduled for release on the 30th of September. Those who purchased the Premium Edition or the Constellation Edition of Starfield will automatically get this upgrade. Uh, it can be purchased separately by players with the base version of the game using Game Pass, though inclusion in Game Pass, as far as I can tell at least, has not yet been confirmed. Elsewhere in Starfield, a free update was released with a vehicle, the first, I believe, in these uh, type of Bethesda games, the vehicle is called the Rev 8. It's a buggy that allows you to travel over the surface of any world and, well, it allowed you to navigate much faster. Interesting thing here is you can also take a companion along with you, even Vasco, there's a room for him on board. So in terms of extra content, I don't believe this adds much else, but, you know, a vehicle is certainly very welcome. Now, the next title here I want to talk about is called Beyond Galaxy Land, and this may not appeal to everyone. Uh, it certainly does appeal to me, though, and uh, suspects a few others as well. This is a pixel art RPG, and it combines elements of science fiction and adventure. The game is uh, developed by Sam Enright, a Chicago-based developer and a music producer. The game follows the story of a high schooler named Doug, who is transported to an artificial solar system known as Galaxyland. I really uh, love that name. So the game itself certainly has a unique character. Uh, in terms of game, uh, game focus, the game emphasizes exploration within the uh, artificial solar system that we mentioned just now, and that allows players to uncover various mysteries and engage with the game's unique setting. The narrative is certainly a significant component, likely involving a character development and story progression as Doug navigates through a galaxy land. Combat is uh, turn-based, not too much information on that other than uh, this, so it is a uh, tactical uh, turn-based. And uh, yeah, these environments, they do look really, really nice. A whole a lot of different environments here, and some of them, such as neon lit cities, and uh, some of them very fantastical looking as well. Kind of looking forward to uh, getting to grips with this and exploring the variety of different environments. It looks like the game is going to be available on pretty much every platform that includes uh, PC via Steam, uh, PlayStation, both 4 and 5, Xbox, and of course, the Nintendo Switch. And that's most likely where I'll be playing at this game as well. Now, at the start of the video, I mentioned a potentially a controversial title, something which, well, not everyone is going to find it too appealing. And honestly, I questioned whether or not to actually include this in this video, but ultimately, I think more people would want to be aware of the title 
even if they don't actually want to purchase it or pick it up or play it. The game is called Space Nation Online, and don't get me wrong, it does have a lot of potential, it could well be a good game. It's an ambitious uh, MMO, it's an online game that it combines elements of space opera and, uh, well, some may say, unfortunately, with Web3 technology. And yes, quite naturally, that means it also includes NFTs in some manner. Now, obviously, if you don't want to hear about this, do skip to the next game in this video. Otherwise, stick around and listen to what it's all about. Now, the game does seem to be somewhat of a traditional space sim, something we're not getting too much of nowadays. There's a lot of different space-themed games, but many of them are not the big, sprawling, epic space games that I know many of you would like to see. Now, the really interesting thing about Space Nation Online is that the person behind it is none less than Roland Emmerich. The guy who, well, brought to us uh, the likes of Stargate, Independence Day, and many other movies. So here's one of the founders behind the game. There's also three others who are pretty big names in the games industry. People who uh, worked on World of Warcraft, Warframe, and uh, well, a good number of other titles as well. Now, as with all the other space games, I'll uh, talk about them. I'd love to be able to tell you all the details of exactly what the game is, what you do in it, who it's for, where you go, and just about everything else. But unfortunately, one well, there's two issues here. Firstly, it's in a closed beta right now, and I haven't signed up for access just yet. I only found out about this title uh, relatively recently. And if you go to the game's website, pretty much everything is focused on NFTs and blockchain. At any rate, if you know anything about this game yourself, if you've played it, if you've had access to it, do let me know in the comments section because I'd love to hear about it. Either way, I thought you'd like to be aware that this game is actually out there, that it does actually exist. Make of it what you will, and for now we'll move on to other titles in this video. Now, the next game I want to talk about is called Menace. This one's being published by Hooded Halton. Strictly speaking, I guess it's not a space game as it is a, a tactical RPG set on planetary surfaces, but you do actually have the ability to move from planet to planet. So uh, that's why I'm uh, including it in here, tenuous thread perhaps, but I think a number of you will certainly be interested in this. So the game places you in the role of a commando leading a team of Republic Marines in a frontier system. The mission is to re-establish connections and maintain order, but an unknown enemy emerges complicating at the task. In terms of gameplay mechanics, Menace features a somewhat layered gameplay structure, including a space map for strategic planning, an operations layer for mission planning, and a tactical combat layer where players engage in detailed battles. The game then is very much focused on strategy and tactics. The game then is turn-based, and it very much looks like it shares some elements at least with the likes of XCOM and even Syndicate, but they're definitely, at least based on the videos we've seen, some vibes of sci-fi-themed Commandos. Even though uh, Commandos back in the day, of course, was a real-time game, there does seem to be some uh, similar vibes here to that, and that, I think, is a very good thing. Also, visually, I do like the look of this, and uh, the animations are also very nice indeed. No information yet on the release date, but it does look as though it's going to be releasing later this year. Another big title heading this way very soon, in fact, some of you uh, may already be playing it by the time you watch this video, if you watch this video a little bit later on. This one is Star Wars Outlaws. It's due to release on the 31st of uh, August. Now, this is another one which I feel may be a bit of a hit and miss title. I have spoken about this before. I know a lot of people are excited about this. After all, it is the first open world Star Wars game, and I'm very keen to try it out for that reason alone. I'm not one of the people who have had access to it just yet, so uh, yeah, keen to see how it actually handles. But also know that this is a Ubisoft title, and it's going to follow very likely the uh, tried and tested method of most Ubisoft games, and I know not everyone is a fan of that. But that said, uh, some recent Ubisoft titles have been good. Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, was a really good title. Not everyone may agree, but yeah, I did really like that one. So when it comes to Star Wars, the ability to run around on some of the uh, well-known locations, get involved in some laser fights or blaster fights, I guess we should say, uh, pop into a spaceship, get up into space more or less seamlessly. I know there's a hidden loading screen here, but it does look like it feels seamless and then have some epic space battles as well as exploration, not to mention the ability to land on space stations and get involved in some pretty, well, some pretty extensive storytelling as well. All of this is very nice indeed when it comes to a space game, and Lord knows we really do need a space game with some epic narrative and some great space battles, as well as some ground combat as well. 
Whether or not Star Wars Outlaws ultimately delivers, I think is uh, going to be open to interpretation, but I think it does deserve a chance. So I'm not going to talk of too much about this one because pretty much everything that can be said about the game has been said on the game. It's been uh, very extensively covered on YouTube and uh, well, it's out very soon anyway. But yeah, this one was also present at Gamescom. Next up, we come to uh, Breachway. Now, I covered this a few months ago on my YouTube channel. It's a pretty interesting game. It is a sci-fi roguelike deck building game. Again, this is something that's being published by Hooded Horse. So the game places players in control of a customizable spaceship on a mission to investigate a mysterious signal. So ultimately, the game does have a somewhat unique blend of different genres and combines elements of strategy and card-based gameplay. Certainly not something for everyone, but what here is here does work very well. I'll link the video on screen here that I talked about it previously, where you can go and see the gameplay in action. Essentially, if you've ever played a deck building game, whether on a computer or in the real world, you'll kind of know what to expect here. There's a good mix of really nice PC elements, but also a lot of strategic combat as well. This is a title that's also coming very soon. In fact, it's coming, I do believe, on the 26th of September, so around about four weeks away. No price point on this one just yet, but I'm not expecting it to be too expensive. Now, Star Trucker is another game I've uh, spoken about before, a game I've actually played during one of the Steam and Next Vests. Uh, yeah, this one is a unique blend of being something fresh and unique, whilst at the same time being very comfortably familiar. In that regard, it is a space trading sim. For those of you who like space trucking, uh, Star Trucker takes the whole concept very, very literally. In this game then, you take control of what essentially is a big rig in space, a spaceship shaped exactly like a huge rig. So the game is pretty simple in uh, concept, but has some complexity in execution, and that, I think, is a really nice blend. I think perhaps we could also say there's a very few elements here of something like uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Right, it's not quite as, uh, I guess, in-depth as that. It's not the full-on mechanics of that. There's no doubt some inspiration here. So what you do is you take on various missions uh, and then take the deliveries from point A to point B. Each time you do this, you will earn a set amount of money. Uh, smaller contracts and larger contracts exist. You can increase your income to well, achieve a big pool of money, at which point you can purchase some upgrades, which in turn allows you to take on ever bigger and ever more complex contracts. So yeah, if you're a fan of uh, space trucking, then this is certainly one that you're going to want to take a look at. Again, this is a title that's coming very soon now. It should be released on the 3rd of September. Okay, moving on to another slightly longer section here with a number of different games. This one is old from Hooded Hall, so have very quickly proven themselves to be a fantastic publisher of some truly great games. Now, since December alone, they have released some highly respected titles, at titles such as Manor Lords, Against the Storm, and Nordland. They also have a selection of space themed titles, some of which are already out, and some of which are releasing in the future. Now, I've already talked about a few of their titles in this video, but here's a few more that I don't really have time to dedicate a full section to, but I do want to give them a mention. And full disclosure here, Hooded Halls are one of my Patreon supporters. Now, Beyond These Stars is a city-building game where players construct a settlement on the back of Kiwa. A sentient space wound travelling across the universe, the game involves managing the needs of your people, exploring new worlds, and maintaining a balance between resources, extraction, and the fragile ecosystem of Kiwarth itself, all the while uncovering the history of the galaxy and forming relationships with alien species. Now, obviously, this is perhaps one of the most unique space games ever considered, building what's well, a city builder and building that on the back of a space well. The space wells themselves, of course, are somewhat of a meme leveled icon in terms of space games. So this really does kind of mix all the best bits of what could, well, what you could include in a space game. It should be uh, pretty interesting to see. Now, Capital Command is a space simulation game where players take control of powerful capital ships to combat the rogue AI forces at a distant uh, frontier outpost. The game emphasizes strategic ship management, allowing players to upgrade and customize their vessels whilst directing crew members in navigation, combat and repairs. Then we come to Falling Frontier. This one, of course, needs no introduction at all. It is probably one of the most anticipated space games for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, there's no release date on this, but I have spoken about it many times in the past. 
This real-time strategy game is set in a procedurally generated star system where players must build and manage their own space fleet. The game combines elements of ship design, reconnaissance and logistics, challenging players to explore, gather resources and engage in tactical battles with rival factions. This one I'm really, really looking forward to. Fragile Existence is another space-based real-time strategy game and this one focuses on survival, where players lead the remnants of humanity across the stars to find resources and establish colonies. The game emphasizes fleet management and strategic planning as players must navigate hostile environments and manage to windle in supplies to ensure the survival of humankind. We've also got two more games here from Hooded Halls. Nebulous Fleet Command, this one is already available I do believe. Uh, it's a tactical a space warfare game that I've said in the past resembles um, the Expanse, but of course I do believe this in concept was uh, put together way before the Expanse was even created. So. Now, the developers have been very keen to point out that the inspiration for this has nothing to do with the Expanse. In fact, it has a lot to do with uh, naval uh, commands and submarines, because one of the developers does have some real-world experience with that. At any rate, the game features advanced radar, electronic warfare and 3D movement controls requiring players to use strategic thinking to outmaneuver and defeat opponents in complex space battles. This is another title that I have spoken about in the past and I do have a video on it. And then we come to a Terra Invicta. This is a grand strategy game that, that simulates Earth's geopolitical response to an alien invasion, allowing players to lead a shadowy organization that fires for global influence. The game features a complex ge geopolitical simulation with resource management and strategic decision making, offering various different factions and strategies to explore as players navigate and the, or the various challenges of an extraterrestrial threat. Now, this one is obviously going to be pretty in-depth, being a grand strategy game. Um, I guess along the lines of Stellaris, but very, very different. Nice to see another space game grand strategy title out there. Another title that looks very interesting indeed is Everspace 2 Titans. This is the DLC for one of my favourite space games. It's a brand new uh, update coming very soon. Now, this uh, puts in some pretty uh, monstrous updates into the game in terms of one big leviathan or multiple big leviathans actually space-based uh, monsters that you can literally fly right inside of as well as some dreadnought spaceships. All of these provide for some new story focused content. For more details on this do check out my recent Everspace 2 Titans video which I'll also link in the video description. So there we have it, that covers pretty much all the games, uh, space games, that are at Gamescom this year. Like I say, some of these are released, some of them yet to be released, some of them coming in the very, very near future. Let me know what your thoughts about all of these are. Are there any of these titles ones you're looking forward to? Are there any titles with that ones that you've actually been playing? Do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. It was a pretty long one. Um, do check out the other video on the screen right here if you're interested in that. Meanwhile, do take care, and I'll catch you next time.